I was up all freaking night uh, trying to do some research for my grandma and her treatments and I just couldn't sleep um, after that just stress I felt like I was gonna have a panic attack or something last night but so the update on granny is we were up there all day yesterday um, during the day talking to the doctors um, hospice all that kind of stuff um, just trying to figure out like what options are and which way to go um, asking all kinds of questions and whatnot and then after the kiddos got out of school we went back up there and took them up there um, she had lots of visitors so that's good um, but the update for her is so right now they have um, it's called like a peg tube in her stomach and they're putting like her feeding nutritions through there um, her body apparently as of yesterday um, was rejecting the not the tube itself but like it like wasn't really absorbing the nutrients and stuff that it's supposed to so they were um, talking about possibly doing a J tube today um, which it's similar to the peg tube it's just a lot longer and it's like curved and it goes more to like where it needs to go versus like the peg tubes just open to the full stomach um so they're thinking about trying that um but i did just get off the phone and found out that instead of doing the j tube today or at least right now um they're going to try to do the feeding through the peg tube again i guess a lot of times the first feeding through the peg tube um doesn't take because of the gases in the stomach and you know people in her situation um, where she hasn't really eaten in a lot of days you know like her stomach's not used to like having stuff in there anymore um so that very well could be why the peg tube or the feeding didn't work through the peg tube but they are i guess now the new game plan is they're going to try again today um a few times today hopefully they can get her to start absorbing the nutrients through the peg tube and if not they are um, going to talk to the surgeon about trying to do the J tube tomorrow um, she's very weak she's lost um, well we can't tell it's not like they're put on her scale but you can tell she's losing a lot of weight um, she's really like bones and she's not looking very good um, So we're trying to stay positive and ask a ton of questions and we're trying to figure out all different routes of how to do things and whatnot. Um, we have talked to her. She doesn't want to go to like a nursing facility, like a rehab facility or whatever. Um, she wants to come home. So that's why, you know, obviously we're talking to hospice about like what they can do for home stuff, um, home care, how all that works. We had to deal with hospice for grandpa, but it was a little bit different of a situation. Um, so, you know, there's a lot more to ask. So I'm getting ready to head on up there. Um, again, hospice is supposed to come in here around 10 this morning, and we're going to ask her a bunch of more questions. Um, I have a lot of questions that I wrote down last night, um, a lot of different things that I wrote down, and a few other family members that were also up doing um, research and looking into things themselves. So that's what the game plan is for today. Um, I'm gonna be headed up there soon, but I wanted to give you guys all an update. Um, thank you guys, you know, for all the prayers, the love and support, we appreciate it so much. So if you guys are the prayers types, uh, keep them coming, we really appreciate it. Um, you know, whether it's for her to get better, for her to not be in pain, um, whatever it may be, you know, all the all the prayers, all the thoughts, um, means a lot. So keep them coming. And if I'm not on here, it's because I have a lot better things, um, more important things going on right now. So I love all you two, but I'm only one person and I can't do everything. So she's my most important right now. Um, and my kids and my husband and my in-laws and stuff. So I'm trying my best to keep up over here, but if I'm not, you know, that's that's the reasoning so anyways i hope you guys all have a good rest of your wednesday bye